Hello everyone, it's Thomas Love here, your friendly neighborhood Autodesk technical specialist and welcome to my 17th video in this series of doing a project using the AEC collections. Now we're, we're sort of at the stage where we've got some models going, we've used Advanced Steel, we've used uh, Plant 3D, we've used some Revit and now we're going to look at going from Revit into Advanced Steel. Um, if you've been following the channel you would have seen this a million times so this video is going to be short and sweet but we'll go over again how to go from Revit into Advanced Steel uh, and even now in the 2019 version so you're not going to really see any change from, from previous versions. So we've got our plant structure here inside Revit. Um, I've taken out the grading and the stairs and other bits and pieces just to make it a bit more lightweight and just quicker and easier for today. Um, and then we're just going to go to the add-ins tab and go to the advanced steel extension. I'm going to export it out to my desktop. And then I'm going to open up advanced steel and I'm going to import that file. And there you can see it's coming. So again, no issues. Um, if anything needs to be mapped, then the dialog box would have appeared to to map uh, the two objects. But again, we don't need to. So from here, we can just start adding our connections in there as well, uh, and then doing it whatever else we need to do. Um, so again, like I said, short and sweet. We can go from Revit to Advanced Steel. What I'll do uh, in the coming weeks, we'll look at adding more elements to the Revit file, and then. Uh, going into advanced steel and then looking at uh, you know maybe even bringing that into plant 3d or or other packages as we progress so thanks for watching and I'll catch you next week